the only happy person here, executive producer Zach Bloomquist, Miami Dolphins. So, Zach, congratulations to you as the take only the, happy take person the lap. Show. Take the victory lap. Ziggy, I want to see you clapping. I didn't see you clapping, Ziggy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> good clapping, good, good golf clap. I mean, good. I mean, yeah, we're good. all miserable over here, and Zach is uh, texting during the games, just fins up, fins up. I might even have to hop on the bandwagon. Your headline, if you remember last week, we did headlines for what Monday mornings newspapers would say. I mean, Zach, you had a horrible headline, but you didn't nail it. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, what do you mean? It was horrible. It was perfect. Rem- do you remember what your headline was? <laughs> yeah, it was like, wh- why two was the fifth pick and not the sixth pick? <laughs> Imagine opening your paper today, and you've seen the Miami Herald. Tua was the fifth pick, comma. Herbert was the sixth. <laughs> yeah, that was perfect. That's perfect. I like where your head was at. That was, I got the idea. That was the headline that you hopefully read in your paper today if you live down in South Beach. 36-34, Dolphins win over the Chargers. We said it would probably be the most entertaining game of the week, and it was amazing. I mean, Zach, I have to imagine, you were, were you watching it or following it? On your oh, I was watching it. I made was sure it I was watching it on the oh, ride home from Pittsburgh. The last, uh, actually, I made Zach, Zach was driving. Yeah. During the last, Zach took over the wheel the last two minutes of the Dolphins game. So I'd, up, I'd update him on, on the scores and everything. Yeah, <laughs> He's like, was. what happened? I'm like, oh, they're in the red zone. It was just an unbelievable performance. Tua can sometimes go off. And la- you look, Sunday, 466 yards, three touchdowns, fifth most passing yards in Dolphins history. He o- already owns the fourth spot, Marino top three. Let me ask you, Ziggy, right now in the NFL, is there a more feared skill position player than Tyreek Hill? You know, what's crazy is that despite the fact that I think the answer has to be yes, the Chargers did not show Tyreek Hill a lot of respect, right? The thing that, like, he was getting single coverage pretty often, and I give a lot of credit to Mike McDaniel. Tyreek Hill, I think, has to be the most feared position player. There's no question about it. The only real competition, I think, is Travis Kelsey, and he's just a different beast. You know, if those two guys were on the same team, who who knows what could happen? (laughs) <laughs> but look, the the fact is Tyree Hill can do it all with receiver and he's in a scheme where even though, you know, he could deal with press coverage if he had to, McDaniel consistently makes it easy on him. And when you make it easy on a guy like Tyree Hill, you're going to see crazy results. Yeah, two is one of these guys when you keep him clean and going into the game, Teron Armstead didn't even play. That was a big concern. 45 dropbacks. Tua was hit just twice. I think I don't even know if he was. Let me see. Was he hit? He had forty-five dropbacks and he had two. There was zero sacks. That's all I know. Yeah, just two quarterback hits during the game. So when you keep him clean and you have Waddle and Hill on the outside, we said this defense. I mean, this offense can score with anyone. Yeah, I remember I, I said I like the Dolphins in this game. One of the few picks I got right uh, on, <laughs> over the weekend. Yeah, I was bad too. Uh, yeah, I was. I was. I think it was like six and ten or something like that. Uh, but I like the Dolphins because two is healthy. The offense is unbelievable, near unguardable, and they want to shoot out, which I kind of figured they would do. And you know, I'll, I'll give huge credit to two of the run game did him zero favors. Like if you look at results from 2018 to 2023, that was a fifth percentile run game. Like it was abysmal. Mm-hmm. But despite the fact that the Chargers knew on every single play he was going to pass, and despite the fact that he's going against Brandon Staley, who's historically had a lot of success against people that want to take deep shots, did not matter one bit. So I'm looking at this game now from an AFC perspective, and we're recording during the beginning of the Jets' bills, so we're going to go live. Hopefully you saw the live by the time you're listening to this. But Aaron Rodgers is down right now. We're looking at the landscape of the AFC, and the Dolphins and Chargers, I think they're both very, very good teams. We'll both be competing for playoff spots, maybe even for a Super Bowl opportunity later this season. But did this change your opinion of the Dolphins, seeing them go out there and actually do it, seeing Tua look completely healthy was that was this a difference maker well this is a big game because it these are two teams who could possibly be fighting for that for a wild card spot what, and last year I, we said it, it made the difference yeah i mean assuming the dolphins of course can win the AFCs, but assuming it's, it is the bills and assuming it's the chiefs you can look back you know week 15 week 16 when the Dol- when the dolphins are a game ahead of the chargers be like that that was a huge week one win yep. uh but no, the Dol- I, I've said you know on previous episodes multiple times that when Tua is is healthy and playing to the potential he can play to, and this Dolphins offense is firing on all cylinders, this is one of the better teams in football. Mm-hmm. I thought they'd win this game. It didn't. It didn't surprise me when they did. Uh, so I mean, they're right as I expect. I think they're a very good team. 
One place I was, you could have a little concern for the Dolphins, and I'll ask you if this is a going to be a bigger issue, Ziggy. The Chargers had 433 yards. They had 234 on the ground. Now, I know Austin Eckler is amazing. Justin it's a good, Herbert, it's it's a good a great offense. offense. It's a good offense, too, though. But is it a little concerning for you just how successful this Chargers offense was against a defense with Vic Fangio that we, we hyped up all offseason? I'm a little concerned. Here's the thing. I think the Dolphins are going to have plenty of time to figure out the scheme. We know the offense can carry them against another elite offense. But given that the Chargers have basically no downfield threat, and given the fact that, you know, people were hoping when Joe Lombardi stepped out that the Chargers would fundamentally change their offense, and we didn't see that, you would have liked to see a little bit more offensive success. Because when you get into shootouts like this, the Dolphins were fortunate enough to win, but they played basically the same game about as well as the Chargers. You can't rely on this every single week. Now, they're not going to play a Chargers-level offense every week, but they're also not going to play a Chargers-level defense either. So they are going to need the defense to improve a little bit if they want to be that Super Bowl contender. Yeah, Because the okay. difference between like the Chargers and, say, the Bills is the Bills' defense can get you that one stop. And the Chiefs have Patrick Mahomes, so it's just not fair. Right, like the the take another way from the Dolphins. I mean, they're they're they were awesome, but they were down by four with a minute left and had a great drive against a team like Buffalo. Maybe not that doesn't happen, but again, fantastic win, fantastic team, and I think it's a it's a great start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you watch that offense with with Waddle and Hill. That was funny when uh when Tyreek Hill brought up today when Jalen Ramsey in twenty eighteen. Said he's only a, a return specialist. Oh yeah, that was great. And then Hill's was like, great. You know, I thought it was only a return specialist. He's Ramsey's like, oh, I was super wrong oh, about it's, that. It's Eleven catches, two hundred fifteen yards, and two touchdowns. It's that, a, I wish it was wild. Third but. player ever with three two hundred plus receiving yard games and multiple touchdowns in in their career. When, I, wish, I wish it was. Didn't they both have like some crazy stat for opening games? Right, two is now ranked, I think third, in opening games for most yards thrown, and then Hill's ranked like fourth. In opening uh, yard, it receiving feels yards. like the Dolphins have that ab- an ability to flip a switch. Like o- only a couple teams in the league can do it. Kansas City would be one, Buffalo. But when they get going on offense, you just can't stop them. It, j- it just starts rolling. And those guys, like we said, Tyreek Hill, probably the most feared player in football from the skill position standpoint. Jalen Waddle, your guy is is in there as well. So it's it's just going to be a matter of watching them score and hopefully staying healthy. But this this Dolphins team, Zach, should have you excited. That's a great. Great win. Yep. Fins Let's up. uh, yeah, fins up, fins up. Before we, before, 